the winning cures everything nfl week 12 top five bottom five rankings it's brought to you by tunica mississippi south's premier sports gambling destination they got six incredible sports books down there go check them out tunicatravel.com is the place to get your information go over to winningcureseverything.com while you're at it uh if you're on youtube hit subscribe for us help us out support your boys a little bit Let's jump into this thing. We're going to start with number 32 through 28, and then we will go one through five. Let's start at 32. You want kickstart us? Got the Raiders. All right, so. They are firmly supplanted in this spot, and I don't know if there's anything they can do other than win out. Well, I mean, they beat the Cardinals a couple of weeks ago. So I I moved the Raiders away from this, and I'm going to tell you why. We, we, we've gone through this so much. I know. We keep going back. But it's no, because we, like, we this is a week-to-week week thing it's on not, here. Like, the, these bottom teams are all just kind of trash. I, I'm not disagreeing with that, but one, it's just more trash than the rest. This week, I've got the 49ers at 32. You cannot go to Tampa Bay and get beat 27-9 to nine by that team. Hang on. We didn't talk about this in the recap because there's no reason to talk about a Tampa Bay 49ers game, especially when we cover so many other things. I was dead wrong on the fact that they were never going to play Winston again. Oh, no, everybody was dead wrong. Why, why are they doing that? If he gets hurt, you owe him a metric crap ton of money. That's, that's yeah. a legitimate financial term right there. I, I can't answer the question. I have no idea why they're doing it. I would have him wrapped in bubble wrap, strapped to the sidelines. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you. I agree. But even still. 49ers are bad. They're my, they're my 31 team. 49ers are going to go and lose to freaking Jameis and get blown out? They're, they're my they're my third. Look, that's a, that's a West Coast team going east for noon. noon even game. still, now, I'm just, this Bucks defense, you can only I, put up okay. nine points. I get it. I get it. Like, my boy Nick Mullins ooh. didn't have a good day. Bad day to be Nick Mullins. Yeah, you got that right. Uh, 31 for me is the Cardinals. Oh my goodness! What okay. what am I supposed? I got the Raiders at thirty. Yeah, okay, now, those three are basically equal. It may be they're, completely flip flop next week. They're they're not equal. They're not. The Raiders just beat the Cardinals. Okay. What do you want me to they say? Didn't, they didn't beat them this week. No, and and, so and they didn't just the Raiders beat put up somewhat of a fight against Baltimore. Mm, I, no. Now they didn't cover for me. I thought they were going to cover. Okay. Because uh, I don't trust Lamar Jackson, but Lamar's looking all right. You know, he's all right, I guess. But the Cardinals at 31 uh, lost 45-10 to 10 to the Chargers. Chargers uh, are a really good football team. They were up 10-7. to 7. Uh, They were really, up 10 nothing at one point. They were up 10 nothing. Yeah. The, the Chargers are a really good football team. Yeah, no, I, I'm with getting, you on that. Getting blown out by the Chargers is not anything that you should be ashamed of if you're a Cardinals fan. No. That's a real good team. I, Raiders, got, the, it, I got the Cardinals 30. We We are in agreement with the bottom three. There's, I'm going to guarantee you we're in agreement on the uh, the two. You think? Other than that, I, okay. Because I, I got two, I got two new new people to the party. Well, and so now the Jets I've had in my party for a while. Okay, that's 29 for me. That's right. They're they're my 29. That's that's a bad football team. That is a really bad team. I still think they're probably better than the Raiders, Cardinals, and 49ers. We might not have the 28 the same. I have the Jacksonville Jaguars. You got the Jags at I got the Jags. Oh, look at there. Look, when you're losing as many games in a row as they are, and they're And losing them loud, too, man. I mean, they're still, like, real chesty and talking. No, like, what are yeah. you doing? It's it, it, that's, it's a bad football like, team. Like, like, there's a part of me that wants to feel bad for you. No. And then you just no, get no, 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 chesty no, no, no. and loud. And I'm just like, no, just so beat them again. Yeah. Kick them again. So I don't know if I enjoy seeing them get blown out more or seeing them lose like oh, last heart, second game. Heartbreakers. I kind of enjoy well, the heartbreak. You're not getting blown out by the Bills, okay? I mean, it, uh, tell that to uh, to the Jets. Oh well, yeah, they got blown out. By the Bills. <laughs> I, had, I believe I had that. Hey, I'll tell you this. Uh, so the Bills put up 24 and only won by three against the Jags. You think they're maybe thinking they should have kept? Uh, what was it, Matt Barkley? Oh no! That, I they, they should have kept playing him. I think Matt Barkley should be their quarterback. Like I, I think, let, I think Josh Allen is not as good as let as Matt Josh. Barkley. Well, just let Josh Allen get healthy. I don't know that he's a hundred percent. I actually think Josh Allen made it his life's goal to be healthy for this Jacks game with all the Yang 
that they were talking. Yeah, that Jalen Ramsey was yep. was, he was running that mouth, and he was just like, "I'm, I don't care if my elbow don't work. I'm playing. I'm this playing game. in this game, and I'm gonna throw touchdowns on him, and I'm gonna run touchdowns on them, and I'm and I'm gonna beat them up." And he did. Yeah, he sure did. All right, we're moving to uh, the top five. Top five. I got I got some new people to the party. Now the top three are just the staple. They're not leaving. Top three Saints, Rams, Rams, Chiefs. Chiefs. Okay. That's exactly what I got. Now number four. Four, I got the Chargers. I put your Patriots back in. Okay. We've we flipped this uh the flipped the script. Yeah, we we flipped it up Be- just a little bit. I put beating, the Patriots back in. Beating the Jets. I, I, this Patriots team scares me. They are still flawed. Beating up on the Jets doesn't do anything for me. Now the Chargers beating up on the Cardinals shouldn't do anything. But they've just they've been on this run. They look they just look way more together. Yeah. Now they're about to be tested, by the way. They got another game against the Chiefs and they got a game with the Steelers. And Melvin Gordon is hurt, best player on the team. Yep. So it's gonna be a little tough. Excuse me. But I, I But right this, now this week, right now, from what I have seen the the Patriots still look full. God, they scare me. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, absolutely they do. But uh, I mean, I think look the Steelers. I thought about keeping them in, but it, because they they always lose in Denver. You, like it, you it almost is a, get beat by the Jags. That's a yeah. That's a moral victory loss right there. Yeah, a moral defeat. Let's call that. And then you and then you get you get beat by this Denver team. And and really. You should have won. You let Case Keenum have the game of his life. Did he not look like John Elway back there without the running? No, he did not look like oh, John he looked Elway. Re- back I thought there. I watched that, I watched that game and I thought this no. might be the best game Case Keenum has ever played. It might be the best the, game he's ever played, the, but he didn't look like no John the, Elway. The balls that he threw were crisp. They were precise. They yeah, were they, in time. It, they, it, like how he many hasn't times done have that. You watched Denver no, this year? A lot. He hasn't looked this good at all. I watched him a lot last year with the Vikings. He didn't look this good. Well, I saw even, a lot of Adam still. Thielen making him look good and Stephon Diggs making him look good. Yeah. He was hitting guys in stride with precision accuracy. He has never done this before. He protected the ball, didn't turn the ball over a lot. Like, this is the most non-Case Keenum game I've ever seen. And yet the Steelers still probably well, should have run or should have well, won yeah, the ball that's game. just because the Steelers are a really good football team. Well, agreed, agreed. But, but so, thankfully – Big Ben does what Big Ben does, and he gives the ball yep, away. Yep, gives the ball away. Um, so, like, yeah, so the Steelers. Like minus nine. Steelers out of my, at, well, part of that's the first game of the year. Six. Where they were they were minus five in that game. I mean, it's just crazy. Um, so, yeah, Pat's number four. I got the Bears at number five. Okay, I have Chicago number five, too. I have okay. my, I have, so, really we, got, we got four of the five the same. It's really hard to keep the Patriots completely out of this thing. Um, when Chicago, and I know the. I know the Lions are nothing proud to beat right now. But with your backup quarterback, when that's you do, kind of a big deal. When you do it with On Case the Keenum and that th- – that's Not Thanksgiving. Not Case Keenum, uh, Chase, mean, Chase, Chase McDaniels. Sorry. When, when you do it with, with Chase McDaniels and that's the just, Thanksgiving just Daniels, day. Daniels, no Mick. Oh, God. Chase Daniels. I'm, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> I'm really, really bad. All these people with names that are close to each other. Um, like Josh McGowan uh, and Westbrook and Wilson. Russell. Yeah. And with, uh, like, not that, I can't believe I didn't call them – Westbrook in the recap. Yeah. Like nine yeah. times, too. Um, this defense, yes, a lot of defenses have looked good against the Lions. They look good. They're just scared. They look complete to me. They can run the ball when they need to run the ball. They can throw the ball when they need to throw the ball. Their offense isn't the greatest. They might be the most balanced. Yeah. Like all the rest of these offenses is just fun and gun. Even if they run the ball a ton, it's all like jet sweeps crazy weird play this team looks like they're running a pro style offense yeah and they just they just look like a normal typical team that you would watch through the early 2000s and how they play football very My, fundamentally sound yeah and defensively i i really enjoy watching them play from the defense side of the ball they, they are a lot of fun i'm looking forward to roquan growing into his role i think in the next three years the game is going to be offensively crazy. I think this defense is going to be fun to watch for a while. Oh, it's it, look, Eddie Jackson is a perfect fit on this defense. Yep. Uh, it it lets you know. So when Alabama lost that 2016 national championship 
just imagine how different it would have been if you had Eddie Jackson and Sean Deion Hamilton back there, both of which are, are doing pretty good in the NFL. Yeah. So, and both of them were injured for that game. Just It just makes you think. I was not expecting you to have the Bears. Man, why not? It's a good team. They, they are a good team. I just Because you had the Chargers in and, on the and, Patriots and, a couple weeks ago. I thought maybe you, if you had the Pats in, you would have the Chargers and the Pats. No, no, no. I, I'm a little, a little out on the Chargers. <gasps> the Patriots just scare the hell out of me. I don't know why they would. They do this every year. I know. I know. I just. Like at some point, you just got to get used I'm to it. I'm pumping the brakes. That sounds good to me. All right, that is our NFL top five and bottom five. As always, head over to tunica, uh, tunicatravel.com. Man, one of these days I'm going to say that correctly the first time, like all the way through. Tunicatravel.com and winningcureseverything.com.